So hello guys, I want to solve this problem from Stuart, multivariable calculus, and pro problem number is 12.3.29, and what we want to find, we're given two lines, and we want to find the acute angle between these two lines. Uh, there's a different ways how you can approach this problem, but I'm going to approach this problem by using vectors. But you can see in this, for these two lines, we don't have any vectors, so we need to create vectors. And before we're going to create vectors, we need to find some points. But first, I want to analyze this problem. So we have two lines. And let's express each of this line in terms of y, or solve for y. So for the second one, I'm going to move y to the right and 3 to the left. And I will get that y equal to x minus 3. And for the second one, I'm going to move 3x to the right. And I will get y equal 7 minus 3x and you can see based on this graph this line, these two lines are not parallel why? because as you remember the general equation of the line y equal mx plus b where m is a slope and you can see this line have positive slope and this line has negative slope so in terms of slope it means one for one line your line is going to be always increasing and for another line your line is going to be always decreasing and if if one line increasing another one decreasing it means you can find the intersection point and how I'm going to approach this problem I'm going to find this intersection point and we're going to name this point A and after this I'm going to find one point on line for example let's call this line is going to be Y1 and this is y2. And for the second one, I'm going to find the point C on line, uh, this is y1, and this is y2. And when, I'm and when I have three points, I'm going to create vector A, and I'm going to create vector B, and then I'm going to use application, uh, I'm going to use a formula. And before we're going to start, Every, before you want to start every math problem uh, because this problem is under dot product and I'm going to use this formula for dot product that I know that a vector a dot product vector b equals absolute value of a uh, times length of b times cosine alpha yeah so I'm going to use the formula cosine alpha equal vector a dot product vector b over length of a times length of b so I'm going to use this formula to find my angle okay so let's start actual do problems so step one step one I want to find point a so find a and how I'm going to find point a uh, point a means I need to solve this system of, of equation. Why? Because this point satisfies the first equation and satisfies the second equation. So let's solve the system. What I know about the system? I know they y, both y are the same. So I can express this y as 2x minus 3. So what I will get? I will get the 2x minus 3 equals 7 minus 3x. And this equation I can solve for x. So I'm going to move negative 3x to the right and negative 3 to the left. So I will get 5x equals 10. And then I'm going to divide both sides by, two, by 5 and I will get x equals 2. When x equals 2, I can find my y. So y equals 2 times 2 minus 3 equals 1. So my y equals 1. So the coordinates of the, my point A, let's say here is 2 and 1. Okay, so we found coordinates of this point. How to find the coordinates of this point? <laughs> this point lies on this y1, so basically I can choose any point. It doesn't matter what point I'm going to choose. Since I already used 2, 
Uh, so let's use x when x equals to 3. So for point B, my x is going to be equal to 3. And 2 times 3 minus 3, my y also going to be equal to 3. So I find my point B. Uh, in the same, I want to find point C. So point C is going to be, I will choose, also let's uh, choose x equals to 3. So x equals to 3. And 7 minus 9, so y equal to 2. So this is my point C. So we did first part, we found three coordinates of our points. So let's do the next part when I want to find vector A and vector B. So let me rewrite B here. So B is 3, 3. And C is uh, 3, negative 2. So this part is done. Okay. So let's find, uh, so step 3, let's find vector A. And vector A is A your starting point, B your ending point, so it's AB. And according to the vector definition, it's a coordinates of the ending point minus the coordinates of the starting point. So ending point is 3 and 3, minus, minus, and starting point 2 and 1. So my coordinates of vector A equals to 1 and 2. So I found my vector A, uh, my vector A equals 1 and 2, again it's just from A to B. And let's find vector B, it's going to be vector AC, so coordinates of the ending point, ending point is 3, negative 2, and minus is a starting point, a starting point minus 2, minus 1. So from here you can see that your vector b equals 1 minus 3. Yeah, so we found our vector b 1 minus 3. Okay, so we found three points, then we found two vectors. And let's actually finish our problem and find, let's find our angle. So according to this formula, Cosine alpha is dot product over the length. So what is the dot product of these two vectors? The dot product of these two vectors is just 1 times 1. So you multiply x components plus 2 times negative 3. You multiply y components. What about the length of a? The length of a is just square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared times square root of 1 square plus negative 3 square. So you can see in this formula we just plug in the value of our vectors. So let's complete uh, our computation. 1 uh, minus 6 is going to be minus 5. And uh, uh, on the bottom we'll get square root of 5 and square root of 10. And negative 5 over square root of 5 is square root of 10. I will get it's negative 5 square root of 50. And square root of 50 is 25 times 2. So I will get 5 square under square root. I'm going to take 5 out. And I will get negative 5. 5 times square root of 2. And you can see 5 get cancelled. And I will get negative 1 square root of 2. So, I can say that my cosine alpha is equal negative 1 square root of 2. Am I done? No. Why? Because I want to find the acute angle. So, let's find what is our cosine of, uh, what is our alpha. And uh, trigonometry is going to help us. You remember if you have a uh, unit circle, uh, x uh, axis correspond to cosine. So when cosine alpha is equal negative 1 over square root of 2, it means it's going to be this angle. But you can see this angle is a, is biggest and you're interested in acute angle. So you're interested in the smaller angle. So uh, and you know that cosine alpha is uh, when uh, it's equals to 1 over square root of 2, 
your alpha must be pi over 4. So you can say that your angle between lines is actually going to be equal pi over 4. Again, uh, I can be more specific and more uh, detailed by using algebra, but if you're going to just draw a picture and find your value of negative 1 over square root of 2, you can see that this is going to be your acute angle. So your acute angle is uh, 5 over 4.